How you going? Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Brendan and today we are going to be building the perfect smelting factory. Now, last time we built this beautiful harbor. If you want to, and you haven't watched it already, it'll be the previous video before this. So go back and watch it so you know what's happened. But we built this lovely little harbor here, which can fit every single boat that we have. Now, I want to streamline the actual smelting component because, you know, you go out, you get metals, get material, stuff like that, bring it back, and then you want to smelt it. But it's, you know, it's, it's a pain because I don't really have anywhere that's dedicated for smelting i just literally have some stuff on my towers over in the castle which isn't really beneficial so i've kind of blocked out this section around here which is going to be kind of like the refining section so smelting i'll probably put in some windmills and stuff like that just for the sake of it but it's predominantly going to be all smelting for in here and then that way basically i can just smelt a whole bunch of stuff and then on the other side of that stone circle, there's going to be a blacksmith that I'm going to build there. But that's for future videos. Right now, I need to... Actually, I'm probably going to elevate this section, but I need to fill in this section with the grass and floors so that I have the platform on where everything's going to be built. So I'm going to get that done so that it will look nice and clean. And then I can decorate it. But I'm seriously loving this grass and stuff. Kind of want to like redo the entire castle with it, but that's like so much effort and I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> but this is cool. This is cool. Yeah, it's clean. Ah, yeah, that started. I got to be honest, grass is so satisfying to like place down and work with. The only downside is that there's no like angled stuff. Like for me to do an angle like that, like I have to snap it in, but it, it, it throws out the, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly day, so because it throws out the squares, I don't really like it. So yeah, I'm going with that. Oh, I keep. But yeah, it's pretty satisfying. Like this stuff is real satisfying. Oh, the trees are growing. Nice. Um, yeah, this, this stuff's satisfying to work with. It's also easier if you just use a hoe and just elevate those certain spots so that you can save on grass and where you plant it down, so. But, it's coming along. Oh, that's interesting. They can't get out. They're stuck down. Oi! All right. Yeah, you know what's coming. He's looking at me. He's like, please. No. Don't do it. Hitting my rock wall. I mean, stone wall. That is one delightful, delectable platform. Um, I don't actually know if this is going to work. I hope it does. Oh, it... oh, that fits in perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Because otherwise it's like, it's really elevated. This kind of makes it look like it. Like it makes it look like. What am I trying to say? It makes it look like it's, it's like integrated into the floor. I don't know. I like it. It looks cool.
Yeah, it's cool. I like it. All right, let's put another one. Nice. And then I can just put in like a black metal chest, like uh, one of the chests there or something like that, just to store any grain or whatever. That's good. See, the idea is like, you know, come back from sailing and I can just kind of, you know, utilize whatever I need to utilize. Same thing for like the long boat. If I was uh, sailing back, which is, I mean, it's kind of redundant because there's the, um, these now. But I mean, this looks cool. This is something like I've, I've, I've been wanting to build in this pond. Like it, it was just a pond before, but this is like something that I wanted to build since this island got picked for the base. It's, get, it's getting full, this island. It's like, I think someone asked in one of the comments how many, how, how many hours I've spent in this playthrough and it's like 300 hours plus because everything's like grinded for. So a lot of, a lot of time. All right. So I've got those I need to put in. I want to put in like three or four four charcoal kilns it'll probably be four just because coal like you burn through coal so quick so i'll probably put in four charcoal kilns maybe even five actually just so i can mass produce coal um because yeah just coal goes you burn through it so quick with the smelters i think i don't know i figured it out maybe four and i, sh I want uh will it fit that's the question if i make it recessed Nah, because if I, even if it does fit, it's going to be too low. Oh, actually what I need to figure out for a, a spot for actually is the, um, tea refinery because these things damage everything around them. So I need to make that out of black marble. I'm pretty sure from memory. I could just do it here. I could just build up a section for black marble and just have. I'll do, I'll probably just do one. This is going to be a lot of space that it takes up. Yeah, I'll do one because it'll be a lot of space that it takes up, but I'll probably do that there actually. Yeah. Um, so I'll do the charcoal kilns here. Smelter and then advanced, advanced refine, uh, smart, bleh. English smelter, last furnace. That's what it is. Am I forgetting one? I don't think I'm forgetting one. No, nah, I'm not forgetting one. And this is literally the last thing. Is Ashlands like there's no other expansion out yet? So yeah. All right, I'm gonna. I better do the refinery because it's going to take the most amount of space because I need to build it up. I wasn't thinking about that. Shuffle everything out of the way. But yeah, I'll clear this out and then I'll go and grab my black marble. I have plenty of and build it up. Um. No, that's way too big. All right, I'll probably make... Oh, no, no, I can make it out of that. Black marble floor. Cool. All right, it's too deep. Okay. But this is looking cool. Be good when I put in, like, my stone paths everywhere. And then once that's done, and I do a uh, portal hub, because I'll probably do the portal hub next, the, the stone one, not the wood one. Um, the blacksmith's going to go probably here where I'm standing here. And if I want, like it can extend over to the other sides, but it'll be in this section here. So it'll be good. Oh. See, bro. Love this crossbow so much. I mean, it's definitely over-designed. Oh yeah, I added uh, some wood trim around the uh, windmills. This is... um. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll work. The iron bars at the top might take damage, but it's easy enough to repair. But I'm pretty sure that will work. 
I even like put in like a slanted one so that it would try and block it a bit easier. Looks pretty neat though. Yeah, it should do the job. Ah, right. that is now done. On to the uh, advanced refineries, which I've already. You know what? Da, da, da. Let's grab all of them. Just slowly crawl our way over. That's not bad. Dude, you can't get me. Yeah, it fits in all right. The gaps are a little wider on this one. Maybe. Perhaps. How's that look? Doesn't look terrible. All right. What looks better? The wood trim around it or... It filled in. I kind of like the wood trim around it a bit better. Oh, for that. The blast furnaces look better with the dark wood around it. I reckon. I mean, I know in reality the wood just would catch on fire, but so would this wood. Actually, no, I don't know. That's the bellow. I don't know, but the wood would probably catch on fire in here, but whatever. I like it more. Um, The smelters, I don't really know what to do with the smelters. Smelters are a little bit trickier because they're. You know what I mean? Like they're not recessed. So I'll just leave them freestanding. I might just leave these freestanding as well as the charcoal kiln because they're like at a weird size ratio. Like they, they, they're too big to fit on just one cube. Or could I extend the cube, I wonder? Give it a try. Nah, that doesn't really suit. I'll just leave them freestanding. Oh, I picked up all the coal. Yeah, they'll be fine for standing, I reckon. Yeah, free standing. All right, onto the kilns, which are all going to go in this corner section. I'm going to get four. I've got four of them to do. Just because coal is such a resource. You know, you require coal a lot in this. There we go. That'll be the coal production. So we've got coal here, blast furnaces for the black metal and the flame metal. Aha, it took a second. Um, the AT refinery for miscellaneous. Normal spelts are for iron, copper, tin, into bronze, like, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we got our little refineries for our bread over here. That's not bad. That's, 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 I, th I think that's all the production stuff that I need. I got the bees up in the tree. Uh, we have a million and one fermenters because I actually made way too many. <laughs> um, I think that's everything we need in terms of. Yeah, that's everything. Cool. So this should be our end game right here. Like this is everything that we'll ever want or need right here. All right, cool. 
Now, all I need to do is just decorate it, make it a little bit nicer, as well as like, you know, put in some chests and stuff like that, because it would, it would make sense that there's chests in, like, you know, uh, uh, throughout this area. So I'll put in some chests, decorate it, and then we're done. But this is looking pretty nice. I'm liking it. Big build, but I mean, because I already pre-flattened it and everything, and the land was already there, it's wasn't that bad but no it's nice yeah it's cool i don't know let me know what you guys think and if you have any cool builds yourself that you want to share join the discord link is in the description below there's a bunch of us in there come hang out share your build pics and you might even get some sneak peeks in some of the videos that i've been like you know i'm cooking up anyway i'm gonna get this decorated all right i'm done it's actually been a fun one hasn't been like painfully annoying because i haven't had to terraform the earth like massively it's just raise it up in certain spots but it's been cool i feel like i've gone way too overboard with the lanterns but it just it i i, I thinned it a bit more and it was just way too dark but no it's good i also hid some uh crafting tables around so that it reduces the spawn rate of like you know boars and stuff like that i mean that one you can barely say there's something like hidden over there by the walls and then hid them down on the outside here so i mean they'll get the weather damage but they should hopefully stop things from spawning um yeah it's it's come along pretty cool this is like that perfect end game like refinery factory kind of thing smelting factory refinery yeah smelting factory whatever but no it's come up Oop. it's come up clean looks real i'm really happy with it. it looks really good oh stuff dying but yeah it looks it looks clean it looks really cool I'll keep like where I've put the trees because obviously I cleared the trees out of this island because I was planning on building everything here. Where trees are going is where it's going to kind of remain a bit more nature and open and stuff like that. So those trees will stay there. Same as the other side. There'll be little, uh, you know, little pockets, hidden little pockets of uh, nature and stuff like that throughout this entire area. Because I plan on building this entire island out, like completely filling it out. I'll... Uh, Oh, I actually haven't... You know what? Because I've looked from the lighthouse, but I haven't looked from the B platform. I'm going to go do that. Because it probably looks really cool from up there. I just need to figure out where I want to put a portal here. I know I can just, like, run between spots, but it's a lot easier with a portal. I'll be able to get rid of that portal up there as well, which is good. Oh, actually, I know where I can put that big stone portal. I can finally use this base. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. No, never mind. It won't fit. <laughs> Damn it. Will it fit in one of the other towers? Oh, I don't know. I'll check in a bit. I'll, ch I'll check in a bit. The portals just scattered around all over the place. It's okay, because I know where everything is. But like... Yeah, if you didn't know, you just it would just take you forever. Yeah, so I mean, like, I still have all the like this space over here to do. Oop, there we go. 
all this I still need to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna use those islands for things. There's three three islands. I'm gonna use those for something cool. Leviathan over there. Um yeah, I'll use those three islands for something pretty cool. I have a build plan for that. That's gonna be where the fish pond is. I'm gonna build like a really cool like walled off like uh like fish pond with every single fish in it. So it'll it'll look pretty cool with that. And I might like fill in some stuff around the side just to make it a bit prettier. But I haven't really touched that. I haven't really landscaped anything there. But this. There you go. That's massive. The trees kind of cover it, but this is just huge. It looks cool. I'm really happy with that. That looks mad. Right, let's go check it out by the light. Uh, I'll, I'll go over to the lighthouse because I check all of them from there. Someone said I'll survive if, like, because I have over 100 HP. Someone said I'll survive if I fall from here. So I'm just going to. Oh, yeah. 100, 100, 100 HP is the max you can take. Sweet. I swear, if I died, then I would have been like, oh, man. Such a long climb. Okay. Is there any seekers? No. Nah, cool. That is looking awesome. That's like perfect. Like everything that we need right there. I think next time I'm probably going to build a portal hub. A stone one though. So one specifically for the um, these ones. The actual portal stones. I reckon I'm going to do it here. Because I want. I'm gonna, I have plans for that space there. So I'm probably going to do it there. And then after that I'll build something... Well, it's, it's going to be like a massive blacksmith workshop kind of area in there. And then after that, like this section of the islands, then it's just over there that's left. But I have some cool stuff planned for over there. So more than just the fish pond, like some real cool stuff. So, But anyway, I'm going to call it there. Build is finished. We have the perfect refinery set up. Perfect harbor. Like this is like a really cool build. It's like immense. I just wish I actually pushed on further to get the uh later build materials like grass and stuff like that and build everything else out of grass because grass and looks seriously cool but yeah super happy with that uh, that's awesome it's probably one of the best looking things i've built so far so very cool anyway has some really cool stuff planned for the future so if you haven't already make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos even after this playthrough is done really cool things planned it's going to be a lot of fun on top of that, I'll probably be doing playthroughs of like Enshrouded and maybe like a modded playthrough run of this as well. So we'll see. Uh, hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment. I want to see what you guys actually think of this build. If it actually does look good or if just to me it looks good. I don't know. But join the Discord. Share some of your build picks in the Discord and just come hang out. It's a cool place to hang out and, you know, get a little couple, a couple of sneak peeks of uh, future videos. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later.